How's it going guys? So today I, th <clears throat> I think we're going to work on this, uh, the Kohler with the, uh, the SV610 with the bad flywheel teeth. I think it's going to have to have a battery too that's not holding the charge. But first we're going to take, go ahead and take the carburetor part, take it off, and uh, address that situation. So, let me get you on the tripod here and we'll get started. So first we'll take, uh, I think this is 10 millimeter, take these two off. Sorry, I got I think I'm getting a little cold. And we'll pull this uh, hose out of the uh, valve cover. We ought to be able to just uh, pull this back, and we're not going to take it. Take the fuel pump. I'm just going to slide it back. Save the gasket if it's still good. Go ahead and undo this fuel line here. Slide this clamp back. Let's see if we can't just wiggle that off, and this will come right on up. like so uh, then you got this uh, bolt right here or nut that's holding the ground and screw on for the solenoid for that old fuel solenoid down there Let's see what size it is uh, maybe an eight yeah I believe in the previous video I determined that the solenoid's bad on this carburetor. Looks like it's wired up kind of jinky anyway. So. I got that loose. I'm going to go ahead and just screw that back in there so I don't have to keep up with it. Then we'll slide this uh, carburetor right off. Now, uh, Got these linkages got to come off um, Z bend on this one and this one um, I forget oh yeah <clears throat> let's just go ahead and undo this uh, wire there looks like somebody put oh well, there we go that might be the whole problem right there, just a loose wire. <clears throat> but we don't know that for sure. Anyway, I've already got a, another carburetor for it. That's what he wanted to do. He said, heck, just uh, go ahead and get you one of them aftermarkets and put it on there, Bob. So that's what I do. And I'm going to save this carburetor, though, and clean it up, and I'll have to be a spare. So just bend the carburetor up, and there you go. Both linkages come off with the spring. Just kind of remember how they were orientated so you can get it back together good. This gasket looks good here. Um, being that we have a new carburetor, I was going to test this, take this off and show you guys and test the solenoid, but... Uh, we're not going to do that right now maybe in another video yeah i'm just not feeling too well today I'm clogged up i have allergy problems so uh i'm gonna go in and uh get the new carburetor and we'll put it back on all right guys uh, so 
<clears throat> just to show you a few things. This is the old carburetor that came off. <clears throat> and if you notice, right there it has a plastic little fitting for that linkage to fit into. And on this aftermarket carburetor, it doesn't have that. It's got just a big old hole. So we're going to transfer this over to this. And you see it comes with a new solenoid on it. They're relatively the same. That's about the only thing I noticed difference is it didn't have the, uh, you know, the little clip that goes in there. Uh, and of course, you can tell it's a. Uh, this one says it's made by HIPAA. I think it came from Amazon, whereas the original is a Walbro. So. Also, it looks like uh, it, it comes with this wired harness too. I just haven't got it out of here yet. But uh, see how this one's grounded? It's got a screw on the wall burl for the ground wire to hook directly to the carburetor. And on this one, it's just punched out right there. So there's nowhere to, uh, that's not even a threaded hole. So there's no way to, uh, screw that in so I'm gonna have to ground it to uh, I'll figure out a way to ground it and once I get that uh, the logistics of all that uh, figured out we'll come back so right now I'm gonna transfer this clip over and uh, figure out what we're gonna do about the ground on it and then we'll continue from there so thanks all right so uh, you see we just uh, Got that transferred over. And we'll go ahead and uh, put this back on. Well, first we're going to put our linkages in. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, it's getting close to 1230, which would be about 630 uh, over across the pond. And it is Saturday. So uh, I'm going to go in and watch... Uh, mix Moore's live stream and then uh, I'll come back out this afternoon and uh, finish this up. We'll test the carburetor, make sure the solenoid's working and, uh, and at least uh, we know we got the missing teeth on the flywheel and probably the starter gear is bad and we got to have a new battery but I've got a charge on it right now going and uh, so by the time the live stream's over and I come back out we'll get this on and I'll hook all this back up. We ought to be able to get it to run anyway, and that'll uh, take care of the carburetor problem. Then we'll go on to the rest of it. Uh, talk with the customer. We're not gonna buy a new flywheel. I think they're about uh, anywhere, different prices I saw were between, I don't know, uh, 150 to $300, believe it or not. So, uh, but I was able to uh, procure one uh, off of eBay, a used one, that looks pretty good for like uh, seventy-five dollars or something like that. So sometimes it's good to you know buy stuff off eBay, especially a flywheel, as long as you can see good pictures of it and the magnets are good on the inside and all the teeth are there. So that's the route we're going to go on that. Uh, but first, I just want to get it running so I can move it without having to push it around. Then I can move it up to my staging area before I take the flywheel off. That's why I hadn't done it yet. I, was, I told y'all the other day I was going to try to do it the other day, but I got to thinking it'll be a heck of a lot easier to work with uh, under my carport where I don't have to walk back and forth with all my tools and plus my air compressor and all that's located up there. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'll see you after mix. All right, we're back after mix. So turns out... Uh, <laughs> this aftermarket carburetor they didn't include the uh, solenoid wire with the carburetor even though it's uh, included in their picture it comes in the description and if you're asking the reason why I can't use this old one because this wall burl, you know it's got the wire already built in well this comes with a two post contact here I guess I could wire some stuff up but uh you know what, I'm not going to do that. So I just took the solenoid off and I cut that, uh, I cut it out. You know, cut the little pin out. So we're going to put this back on. 
and then we're gonna uh, see if it'll run. And if it does, then I'm gonna, since this doesn't have a fuel cutoff on it anywhere, I'm gonna put a fuel cutoff somewhere in line with the fuel hose and uh, try it that way. So uh, I guess we'll just put this back on now, see what happens. Do a little test. Flip this around. And where'd that gasket go? There it is. Gasket down here. Right there. Get this all lined back up. Another thing that needs a fuel clamp for that ventilation hose. Oh yeah, this has got that stud that sits behind. All right. So I'm just gonna, for right now we're just gonna put this on. Make sure we got the fuel line hooked back up. I think I did, but let me check. I may not have. Hey. Might as well go ahead and check now. And I did not. So go ahead and put that on there. And this is just a dry run anyway, so. I just wanna see if it's gonna crank and run. I think I cut the uh, solenoid off low enough. find out here in a minute. I'm having all kinds of trouble lining this up. So bear with me. Start those on there. Yeah, that's a. Uh, so I called up. Uh, I found out that you came from Amazon, so I called them up, and they were like, uh, "Well, we can just send you another kit." And I said, "Well, I guess that would be okay, except I need to get this done today." And uh, I just wanted to let you know that you probably got a a packaging problem. Anyway, they offered me a refund. I just got to ship it back to them and all that good stuff. Well, I can adapt and overcome. We'll do it the old school way. Just cut that solenoid out. They call it an anti-backfire solenoid, so we may get some backfire. I don't know. We're going to find out. Get all that good and tight. Put that back in the valve cover there, that hose. I'm going to make sure everything's cleared out. We're going to put it on choke. I've already put the linkages and everything back in. I guess I didn't show that, but made sure all that's working. So let's see if it'll run. Make sure we got gas. There's still a little bit in there. We'll go, we'll go with it like that. Here we go. have to pump some through there.
carry just a little bit. So now we got it running. Uh, so I'm gonna move it around to the other part of the yard here in a minute. And uh, I guess I'll continue this on the next video. We'll go ahead and get this one uploaded and posted. We'll call it part one. All right. Jungle Bob, please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Oh, good live chat today, Mick. Nice.